A new version of uh, Magic OS 7 is out for the Magic 4 Ultimate and this brand new version brings several new features and UI changes and we're going to take a look at them, so let's get started. Here we have the change log of Magic OS 700161. Even if you have a later version, it should include those changes. First of all, we have a cat, we have this uh, card life plus enhance, car life plus enhance actually, which is for the car stuff that usually is not used here in Europe, for example. But one of the biggest changes is the status bar change. Control center is added and is separated from the notifications panel by swiping down from the upper left or right corner. So the same thing that we saw with Harmony OS, with Emotion UI 12 and others and iOS um, also doing this. Here we have the anti-harassment radar. We have the Wi-Fi scanning option, which allows us to scan a QR code in the Wi-Fi settings. Pretty cool if you're offline currently and you cannot use one of those intelligent uh, Wi-Fi scanners or QR code scanners. Uh, Jojo's suggestions have been updated as well. Floating windows will run now in the background, even if you close the floating window option or the, the open window. And the camera has a new a banner option or a new sticker option that you can use amongst some other optimizations like performance optimization and system updates uh, and security fixes from June. So let's take a look at the status bar changes. So when I swipe down from the left here, you will see I have now my notification shade here. No notifications currently. I have also the option to just go into the notification uh, settings here and choose uh, various different notifications, how to treat those notifications for applications specifically. And so from the right, we have the new control center here that you can see, which reminds me quite a lot of MIUI combined with iOS and a little bit of Harmony OS and so on. So first of all, we have all the quick toggles, like two quick toggles, major quick toggles here, like Wi-Fi by default and Bluetooth. You can see they have this little arrow, just like in the previous version, and we can click on them to scan for Wi-Fi networks or do the same for Bluetooth devices and yeah, add some Bluetooth devices. And you can see it doesn't look as nicely integrated. It's opening up the same dialog that we had, I think, before. I can quickly show you the previous version here running on my Honor Magic VS that still has this old version here. If I swipe down here, you can see I have also these little arrows here to go into something else. You can see it's the same kind of dialog that's popping up. So it's not better integrated or something like this. It is just simply a redesign of the UI that we see here. Then we have um, another widget. This is called a widget because it is like showing up uh, your Jojo's suggestions, in this case, what actions to take here. And some of those actions are like screenshot and mobile data by default, but it can adjust to whatever you're uh, doing or using very often. Then we have a music player here, media player. We can actually click on this and it allows us to see a sync bar and a volume control here as well. And I think you can even switch between the um, output uh, if you have uh, Bluetooth devices on board. Then we have a quick toggle here for the brightness controls and for the volume as well, which is quite interesting because it reminds me again of iOS very much. And then we have some other quick toggles here. You can see I have them uh, not expanded, but I can also expand them here. And then you can see all of them here. And you can even add, of course, more of them by hitting the edit button there. And if you go in here, you can see edit shortcut switch, which allows me to edit those uh, here and even add a few more in there if I want to. And uh, I have also the option to hide the honor connect option, which is the one thing that is showing here down below. So you have other honor devices I can learn about, more about it in the settings there. It's currently, I think, not very useful for Europe, but uh, yeah, you can decide what to make out of it uh, if you need it or not. Now let's compare it a little bit. I've compared it with the predecessor already. Now let's compare it with other solutions that we have here. First of all, I told you it's like a combination of um, iOS and MIUI. So let me quickly get one of my phones here and you can see here this is how MIUI looks like in the control center 
and uh, let me unlock the iPhone. You can see the iPhone's iOS, how it looks in the controls. And you can see it has more, much more quick toggles here, and it's a bit more different kind of uh, layout here. And here you can see, but also on uh, yeah, MIUI, on iOS, and now also on the brand new, let me put it maybe a little bit like this. There we go. On the brand new... Uh, Magic OS, we have the same kind of sliders for brightness and volume control on all of them, as you can see here. Very, very interesting. Then MIUI also has the quick toggles here, and I can swipe between them left and right, which is very interesting. So those are treated as part of the quick toggles, apparently, uh, which is quite interesting. We have also a media player here. We also have a media player there. Also, those media players, you can see, have the same kind of layout. They allow switching between uh, various different audio sources. So if you have audio um, outputs, so if you have uh, Bluetooth headphones um, put in or something like this or connected, you can switch between them. So very, very similar kind of layout. Uh, very interesting here that iOS has four quick toggles in here where we have only two here, but there we have like the more intelligent ones here. Where here it also sticks to two, which is quite interesting. So we now know the iOS look, we know the MIUI look. Let's compare it with its brother from another mother. <laughs> In this case, uh, let's compare it with Harmony OS or Emotion UI. You can see very, very similar. You can see the only difference we have here is the uh, quick toggles are like divided into two, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth one. And we have the music player here. And we have the other quick toggles uh, directly down below there together with the slider for the brightness. We don't have a volume slider in here at all. And of course, Harmony uh, is heavily inspired by super devices and their technology. So they have super devices here, which is a little bit cor corresponding with the uh, Honor Connect, which is like trying to achieve something similar, I would say. So yeah, it could look like this if you have like Honor Connect device. Otherwise, it's showing up my, yeah. AI Live devices here, mostly Bluetooth devices in this case. You can scroll down here and get all those here as well. You can see that the only big difference that I also sometimes misclick because they have similar UIs is the configure. If you want to go to your global settings is here and the edit button is here and here it is the other way around. So, But if you click the edit button, you can uh, edit the switches again here and can edit those switches, which is looking exactly like here. So yeah, they probably have the same kind of, we have edit smart scenes and edit devices here as well, which is like super devices stuff. So these are basically the same kind of things. There is a little bit of a difference here still because you can see Emotion UI or Harmony OS is showing you also um, other applications like the weather application here, which is currently running and have sensitive uh, yeah, permissions granted, which is showing here, which is quite interesting that it's showing this here as a privacy feature. And I don't see and I didn't see any options to enable this in Magic OS yet. So very interesting indeed. So this is a little comparison about the control center. Uh, of various different devices. I think what Honor did is a good move. I like the volume slider because sometimes I really want to quickly change the volume. I could, of course, press just the volume button and change it. So I'm not sure if this might be something that they could change there because the space here in between the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is quite large and four icons maybe might be more useful. And uh, the other thing that I like, however, is if usually we have very large phones, usually when I want to slide down, I want to change either Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or some of the other quick toggles like uh, Honor Share, which is, for some reason after 10 minutes automatically um, turning off. So it's very good and convenient that I have it here in my thumb uh, position or in, in the grasp of my thumb, where here it's a bit harder on Harmony OS because it's so up there. It's still able, I'm still able to do it, but I have to change the position of my finger to do so. So there's a bit of a difference there for sure. And uh, yeah, what do you think about the design of the control center? Do you like this option? And no, if you're asking, uh, I just checked already here. There's no option that I sh uh, saw which allows me to go back to the old uh, style here. So it would be, would be very interesting to know if you like this design or not on the new Magic OS 7. So enough of this. Let's check out the last new visual new feature that I can show you. This is in the camera application. If you go to your settings, now you have under... Stickers is how they call it. 
the option to add a watermark. This was there before, but now we have different watermarks. We have the old style, the default one, but we have also the Honor Frame one, which is, I think, inspired also by Xiaomi that first started this with this white banner showing some options. You can show what, what uh, options you want to show up there, like device model, date and time, and location eventually, which is quite interesting. So I can click here, click Allow, and it's showing everything in here. And every time I take a photo now, let's go back. Just take a photo of this laptop here. Uh, you will see that it will have this banner added here at the bottom where it shows the model that recorded or that took this image, then the lens and the settings here. And also, I think the date and also longitude and uh, longitude of this. Um, where you took the photo, which is quite interesting. So yeah, this is one of those new features here as well that you can see in the camera application. Otherwise, the device is quite fast and fluid. I think they managed to make it a little bit faster, especially here, the um, search, AI search, or how is it called, on a search, on a board, or whatever they call it, is also a lot faster in opening up and showing up search results. And yeah, this option here, um, yeah, you have to get used to it maybe a little bit, but then it is quite interesting. And as you see, more and more brands are switching to this kind of option here. So I think it makes a lot of sense. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything. Short little video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, bye.